Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be an astrology talk video. Um, <clears throat> I added a, a whole new playlist, an astrology playlist, because I really wanted to tap into more of my astrology studies and kind of have a place where I can discuss a lot of that kind of stuff. So um, this is going to be a video about how to... Um, how to read your daily transits, okay, compared to your birth chart. And basically, I'm going to teach you the way I was taught how to map out the daily transits. So first and foremost, before you even continue with this video, if you want to play along and learn and actually do this with me, what you're going to need to do is print out your own birth chart. Your birth chart meaning this is the way the stars and the planets were at the time of your birth. What you need to do is know um, your date of birth, the time of your birth, and the location of your birth. I had my information here but I crossed it out for personal reasons. Um, but if you know those three things, you can track your birth chart. If you don't know, um, ask your mom or dad, <laughs> maybe they will know or look at your birth. Um, I don't, I'm, I think your, um, birth certificate should actually say the time of your birth. Um, so you could do that too, or you could do a guesstimate. Usually I'll put noon for people. If I don't know the time or they don't know the time, I'll usually just put 12 noon. Um, the only thing it'll affect is your rising sign. Um, because that is the time of the, like, like at the time of your birth, it's basically where the sun, you know, was rising at that moment. Um, I think, I think that's what it means, but don't, 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 don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't take my word for it. I'm still learning. As you know, I'm teaching, but I'm learning at the same time. I find that that's actually really helpful. Um, we're all learning together. So basically, when you want to get your birth chart, you could find these this information anywhere on the internet. You could do a Google search for a free calendar um, like a free, a free birth chart calculator, whatever. I like to use astro.com. So if you want to check out astro.com um, and you can actually create an account where you could plug in your information so it saves it and then you can bring up your chart at other times. And then what you could do from that website is after you plug in your birth chart information, your chart will pop up. You can actually go to print it and when you print it, it actually gives you, I don't know if this is just my printer, but when I print it, it has my birth chart and the information on the side. And then there's all this extra space here. And I actually use this to, to write my notes. So go ahead and pause this video and go to astro.com, plug in your information, print out your birth chart. I would recommend making multiple copies of it. I actually printed out multiple copies of my birth chart um, because I this is the way I like to to uh, calculate and map out the daily transits. So this is the this is basically what the sky, what the universe, our planets, the sun and the moon, what everything looked like at the time that I was born, yours will look different, okay? Everybody's birth chart is different. So once you do that, um, I want you to also go to astro.com and there is a, um, there's a part in the upper right hand corner of the website where you can actually click on the present date um, and it'll give you the transits of the planets that day. So I ended up writing notes because I'm using my phone to record the video. And I don't have fancy editing where I can actually like do a, a half screen and show you guys. Um, but I wrote down, this is all of the planets, like the planetary transits, where they're at for um, September 29. So this is where everything is as of that time. It's um it's September 20 29 because basically it's um it doesn't go based on um 
it's like the general world, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the time when, you know how we all have, like, different time zones and stuff? I'm going to sound so stupid. But basically, just trust it. The website is going to go based on, like, the general time zone. Um, so, it said, it, it, as far as right now, for us, like, for me, it's still um, September 28th. But overall, September 29th is what popped up. Um, for the most part, the ones that change frequently, like a lot really fast is the moon, but basically all of your deeper planets here, um, they're all pretty much very slow moving. So, um, really the one that moves around a lot is the moon and then, um, Mars and Venus move around generally faster, but, um, that moon one is the one that goes fastest. <laughs> so write down, take notes. You could write down or you can actually print out um, today's transits. And so it'll kind of look like this. But I wrote notes down. Um, and these are where all the planets are right now in the sky. Right now. Today. September 29th. And um, this is how you do it. So like I said, this is my birth chart. And I want to know... Where are today's planets on against my birth chart? Okay, so when I when I say a transit, so this like what the moon is transiting, it means where is the moon moving right now against my birth chart? Okay, so first things first, let's start with the sun. I wrote down the sun is five degrees in Libra. Okay. So right now the sun is in the sign of Libra, five degrees of Libra. So you're, I'm going to look in my chart and I'm going to look for Libra. And Libra is right here. So you could see it's a similar sign. That's the sign of Libra. And there's the sun in Libra. And it's five degrees. So when I'm planting it, I'm going to put all of the, all, all of the daily transits. This is today's date. These are going to go on the outside of my of my chart so that I can easily identify them versus the inside of the chart is where I was, where everything was when I was born, okay? So the sun is going to go in this part of Libra because this is where Libra is in my, house, in, my, um, in my birth chart and it's five degrees. So if you guys notice, some, some of the charts will have the numbers, but this one, it doesn't. You'll see these little... Um, these little lines, there's, it's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then it's 30. The 30 mark is the um, the cusp. And then it goes into, again, you know, 5, 10, 50, blah, blah, blah. So that's just to give you an idea. <laughs> so because it is 5 degrees in Libra, the sun, the 5 degree mark is obviously right here at that first notch. So in that first notch area, te like technically like right around here, I am going to just draw the little symbol of the sun. So this is kind of hard to do with the camera, but let me go ahead and... So that's five degrees. So my sun is right there. So this is where the sun is right now today. It's in the sign of Libra, five degrees, okay? You can also put a little five next to it if you want to show it's five degrees. Um, but when this, when I was born, my son was actually in the sign of Pisces. So I am a Pisces. That's my zodiac sign. So that's where my son was when I was born. But this is where the sun is right now today in the sign of Libra. Okay, so let's do the moon. So when you guys are doing this, you're going to look. This is going to be, you know... Um, September 29th, the, the daily transit, you're going to look where the sun is and then you're going to put it in your chart. Your Libra may not be in the, in the fifth house. Mine is in fifth house. Your Libra might be in the first house or it might be in, what house is this? The ninth house. It just depends. <clears throat> so the moon is in 24 degrees of Taurus. So in the chart, I'm going to look for Taurus, and Taurus is right here. Boom. There's Taurus. And the moon, I said, was 24 degrees. 
So when you look at the little notches, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So he's, the moon is bright about right there. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in, like right there. So that is where the moon is right now, okay? And then we're going to do, um, this is Mercury. Mercury is 12 degrees of Libra. So back into where we just put the sun, there's Libra for me. And 12 degrees, that's 5, 10. So 12 is going to be like right in there somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. <laughs> it's a little confusing with the com with the camera. So I'll just... And we're going to do Mercury. Now, you don't technically, you don't have to draw the signs. I mean, you can just put little circles or whatever, whatever works for you. Um, but I like to put the symbols because it helps me practice the getting familiar with the symbols without having to write it out. Okay, so there's Mercury. Then we're going to do um, Venus. So Venus is in 10 degrees of Scorpio. So here's Scorpio. And 10 degrees is right there. And we're doing Venus. And then um, Mars, five degrees of Aquarius. My Aquarius is right here. Five degrees is right there. So this is, which one are we doing? Mars. Um, Jupiter is 21 degrees of, of uh, Scorpio. So there's my Scorpio and 5, 10, 15, 20. There's 21 should be like right there. That's going to be my Jupiter. See, I'm still learning my signs. <laughs> I'm still learning like how to draw them. So Jupiter's right there. I should probably be writing the little degrees, but whatever. Um, okay, this is Saturn. I he Saturn normally doesn't have this little thingy there, but I I was thinking Scorpio. <laughs> so Saturn is two degrees in, this is supposed to be Capricorn, don't laugh at me. I never know how to, to draw Capricorn, that one's always confusing. But Saturn, Saturn is two degrees in Capricorn. So my Capricorn <clears throat> is over here. Two degrees is like just barely, barely right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my Saturn. Right there. Um, and then you can even put a notch too, like to show, okay, that's where Saturn is. And you know, Jupiter, this is where Jupiter is over here. And this is where, you know, so you could do that too. You can add your own little notches so it's not so confusing. Do however it makes you feel, you guys feel better. <laughs> Um, this is going to be, what is this? This is, um, Uranus, one degree of Taurus. So my Taurus is over here. Uranus is one degree. So he's barely like, boom, he's barely going to be like right there. So you're, um, how do I draw him? <laughs> there we go. Uranus. And then we have um, Neptune. Neptune is 14 degrees in Pisces. So my Pisces is over here. 5, 10, 15. So 14 degrees is about right there. And um, that's where Neptune is. And then um, Pluto is 18 degrees. Sorry. Pluto is 18 degrees Capricorn. So Capricorn and it's right here, <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20. So 18 degrees is about right here. And that is Pluto. And it's like a giant P. Okay. And then I also wrote down um, Chiron because I have Chiron in my chart too. So you could put it, you don't have to, but if you want to. Chiron is, um, is an asteroid. Um, so Chiron is 29 degrees of Pisces. So 29, he's like almost, he's almost out of Pisces. So Chiron's over here. There we go. Okay. So now you can see um, 
you just, congratulations if you did this, if you followed along, congratulations, you just charted your first daily transit against your birth chart. <laughs> when I finally got the, the hang of this, I was so proud of myself. I was so happy because it's just, it's fun. It's fun to do and it helps you kind of get familiar with your chart and all of that. So some things about the chart before we start about like, like comparing, cause I'm not going to read it all. I'm still learning that you guys, but let me show you the pieces of your chart. So everyone's birth chart is made up of 12 houses. Okay. The first house, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. When you um, chart your birth date and your time, your rising sign will always reflect, boom, here. Now, depending on the kind of chart you use, okay, um, I like to use whole sign system. You can see here, I use whole sign. Um, but some people like to do the placidus or placidus or whatever, however the hell you spell it, say it. <laughs> I like whole sign. I just like to see the whole thing. Um, the other chart will kind of do like mixtures of cusps, but I'm still learning. So I find the whole sign is easier for me to do it. So in the whole sign, um, this line will always refer to your rising. Um, and so obviously this is the beginning of the sign of Gemini. So my rising is in Gemini. Also, you'll see your little chart here. This is where it will say, um, all of your signs at birth. So for me, um, my sun is in Pisces, my moon is in Cancer, that kind of thing. Um, the other thing is the houses, like so where you see the numbers, the numbers of the houses will usually always be in the inside portion of the chart. So you can see it there just in case you forget the, like which one is one. <laughs> Sometimes I forget, but I always remember like, oh, it's always to the left. It's like the first one right here, boom. Um, and then um, the signs of the houses will always be on the outer portion of the chart. So, you know, my first house is in Gemini, second house is in Cancer, third house is in Leo, and so forth. Um, and like I said, in your birth chart, their birth chart will always be on the inner portion. And then the daily transits, if you are drawing them in yourself, will always be on the outside or should always be on the outside. You don't want to confuse yourself by putting them in here. <laughs> and also, if you go to this website, astro.com, you can actually um, print out your daily transits already plugged in with your birth chart. But I don't like to do that because I like to actually go in and do it myself. It's like doing a puzzle and it helps me learn. So then what you guys can do is in this space, you can actually write out your daily transits. So you can write out like the the major ones. Like I would say pay attention to pay the attention mostly to the sun, the moon, the moon for sure because the moon moves around like constantly. Um your outer planets, like your Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, they tend to stay in the same sign for quite a while. They don't, it takes them a while to move around. Um, <clears throat> Mercury, uh, Venus, and Mars, they will move around a little bit quicker. So they're also fun to chart as well. Um, but I definitely pay attention to the sun and the moon. Um, and so... To give an example, I have my aspects portion here in the book. This is astrology, plain and simple. And I have this out because this is basically like when you hear people say my blah, blah, blah is conjunct, blah, blah, blah. That's what that is. Conjunction is like when two planets are like really like side by side within a distance of maybe five or six um, degrees when it's a square, you know, one planet is squaring the other. And then opposition is another one that is really um, popular that people talk about. Opposition is when two planets are completely opposite each other on, in a chart. So to show you an example of that, um, let's see if we have any of those. So d based on the daily transit. So let's say if I wanted to see where my sun, how my sun was, how today's sun is affecting me. So the sun here is in the ha uh, my fifth house of Libra, right? So the sun is all about who we are and um, all about ourselves. 
and it's in my fifth house. The fifth house is the house of blah 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 blah. So you'll it's it's you you're gonna basically have all of your notes. <laughs> if you're like me, you're gonna have all of your notes, and it's gonna talk about you know this this is where the sun is influencing me right now is in my fifth house. So then of course I would go and see what what is the fifth house, what how does Libra um how does Libra affect the fifth house and you know having my sense of self in it. Now, my son, when I was born, is in my 10th house. And if it was opposing anything, it's not. There's nothing there. But let's see. Do I have anything that's opposing? <laughs> so the moon, let me think. I don't know. I don't think I'm really having much. Well, I guess like the moon right now would be opposing because the, there's the 12th house and then the 6th house. They're complete opposites, right? So the moon is technically opposing Jupiter because it's opposites. Um, so that could be, you know, if, if I go and dig in, okay, how is the moon in, in, is in Taurus right now in my 12th house? How is that influencing, opposing my Jupiter in my sixth house? So it gets really, really complicated. That is where like, I like to dive in. I'll write down any of the main ones that are sticking out to me. Like I said, I usually pay attention mostly to conjunctions and the oppositions. Um, so yeah, you guys, it's it, that's the thing. And so let's see, do I have any conjunctions? I do. <clears throat> so... For example, Neptune, trans, transiting Neptune is conjuncting my natal sun and my natal, what is this, uh, Venus. That's a conjunction because it's within, like, a, usually it's like five-ish degrees. It's like really close to these guys, right? So that's a conjunction right there. Like I said, like I showed you earlier, um, an opposition um, would be the moon opposing Jupiter. Okay. Um, any other conjunctions? I'm not sure if this would technically be one. Maybe it could be. I'm still learning. Any of you guys who are watching this and you like know more than me, tell me. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm not here to teach how you teach you guys how to like actually dive in and like totally read this thing that's what I'm still learning how to do but I wanted to put this video together I really wanted to kind of show you guys how I do this because I posted pictures um, on Instagram before and people were in my DMs asking me how do you do that what are you doing what do you blah, 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 blah. so I thought you know what I'm finally just gonna put a video together to teach you guys how I do this and basically that is how I map out the daily transits against my birth chart. So I hope that this helped you. Um, usually this is something really cool that you could do if you were learning astrology and you wanna learn how to read the daily transits against your chart and you can actually make journal entries. So like I said, you can use this, you can write the notes on the actual paper or you can, you know, in your journal, you can, you can glue this in there, I don't know, I'm just saying, you can use it as a journal entry um, and you can write okay so as of September 29 these are major planet planetary transits against my chart this is how they're influencing me today you know so the moon is always influencing your moods because it's all about your emotions it's in the, my um, 12th house so how is it you know influencing me today versus um, blah 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 you know it's and that's the thing about astrology you guys is it's it can be complicated but it can also be really easy so my my tip for you guys is the way that i'm learning is hands-on writing my notes M print out multiple copies of your birth chart so that you can have blank charts to go ahead and map the dailies in 
and then you can practice um, and you can see how you know how better it is and easier it is for you as you can tell I'm still very 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 new to all of this um, I don't feel comfortable you know giving a whole reading about it live because <laughs> Like I said, I'm still learning. I have to go through my notes. I have a shit ton of notes. Like I have a whole, I have a whole binder of my notes. I, I have notes and notes and notes. Um, but I'm not there yet. And I hope to one day be there. But I have found that by dissecting my chart and by doing the dailies like this, I don't do it every day. Sometimes I'll do it like if there's a full moon or I'll do, um, you know, if there's like the during the eclipse, I did the chart. Um, or if it's like maybe a, a, a special day, so maybe it was like the first day I got my job or whatever, I wanted to see how, what was it influencing, that's when I'll usually do a transit chart. But other than that, um, you go about it how you guys, you guys feel comfortable with. Don't stress so much over it. Use your notes. There is nothing wrong with using your notes. Um, and you know, it takes time, but you will learn just like me. Like it's, it takes me time. I'm still learning, but I find this so interesting and so exciting. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions, go ahead and leave comments below. I'll do my best to answer. But like I said, this is just something I wanted to put there to teach you guys how I'm learning and we can all learn together and, <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. And I hope to put out another video about astrology as we move along. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we talk about next time. So bye my loves. Talk to you later.